Hey guys, my name is Gabe, and this is episode 4 to my Unity C Sharp programming tutorial series. So, I know this is a really overdue video, and uh, I was really meaning to upload this for a while, but uh, I don't know, I guess my Let's Make Rust uh, series kind of took over. But I do want to make this, uh, I do want to continue this series because I want this to be a resource so that you guys can go back if you don't really know C Sharp, you can go back look at this series and get a basic understanding of it so you can go back to some other series like the Let's Make Rust series. Okay, so uh, today we're actually going to be learning about arrays and lists. So to get started, um, I'm just gonna have our start method in here. So um, we're gonna add our start method here. Okay, and so first up we're gonna be going over what arrays are because that's actually uh, simpler than, uh, a, than lists. So what an array is, is basically, it basically is a list. So uh, a list and an array are both basically the same thing, but a list has more, um, it has more uh, function, uh, has more functions like the pop, push, and stuff like that. But we'll be going into the, all that crazy stuff later. So uh, first we're just gonna get into the very basics. So we're gonna make a public int, so this is our first list is going to be a list of integers or our array, excuse me. So how that works is we're going to add these two um, square brackets here. So that basically marks this as an array. So I'm going to call this my int array. Okay, so if we go back into Unity here and we make a new object, so I'm going to call this, um, well, yeah, just game object, whatever, and I'm going to reset, um, I'm going to reset this transform and attach the script here. You can see now we have a drop down with size zero. So if we make the size five, you can see now we have five elements. So we can change the uh, the elements, like what's uh, what the value of each element is. Now we can also do this programmatically by making this equal to, and then add our bracket, our curly brackets, well, and we can make one, five, oh, one, six, and three, and then have our end curly bracket. And that's how we would do that programmatically. So if we went back into here, into our um, uh, our script on our game object, and we were to do restart, you can look inside of my int array, and now we have one, six, and three, like we have here programmatically. And you can still manually add some yourself. So if we make this size five, um, it'll copy what the last element was, and we can now change these manually. Now, to get a value from uh, the array, it's very simple. We're going to debug.log and we're going to do my integer array 2. So this is now going to uh, debug our second element. So how we do this is, let me zoom in a little bit. Um, we have, we put the name of it, just like um, any other data type, but then we put this uh, square bracket. And inside of here, we put a number, and this number represents um, the second element. And we're going to end the square bracket, a parentheses, and a semicolon. So now if we go back into Unity here and open up our console, it should debug element 2, uh, well, element 1, which is the second um, thing, or the second item in our array. So it should debug 6, it debugs 3. Oh, I, I made a mistake. Um, it actually truncates from 0, so it will debug two. So what we could do is we could debug zero. Oops, zero. And now it will debug one. So as you can see, one. I forgot it truncates from zero for a second. Don't know why. Uh, apparently I didn't save this scene. That's fine. doesn't really matter. Okay, so that's basically how an array works. Um, you can, I'm pretty sure you can make this equal to something else. So in start, we're going to make my int array uh, 2 is going to be equal to 4 and so you can change its value so 2 element 2 which is going to be 3 should now equal to 4 so what was that yeah element 2 is now over here you should see that it turns to 4 and it does so arrays um, are very useful when it comes to um, maybe you want to find a bunch of enemies that are in your scene and do something with them uh, you know via tag, uh, things like that. And this also works great for an inventory. But what works better for an inventory is a list. And a list 
requires us to use another namespace. So now we're going to get into this. We're going to do using system dot collect oops dot collections dot generic. Okay, so in this uh, namespace, we're going to have lists. So I'm going to comment this out. This is our um, this is our array, and now we're going to make a list. So we're going to make a private list, and do make sure you have the namespace. Otherwise, uh, you're going to get errors. Um, so this is going to be a list of integers as well. Uh, we do have to give it a name. So my list, which is going to equal to a new list that is of type integer, and we're going to finish that off. Uh, actually, I think I messed that up. Yeah, okay, it's supposed to look like that. So private list, and then you're going to add your bit shift left and right. Um, and inside of here is going to be what the data type of the list is. So this is now called my list. Uh, you put the name here, which is going to equal to a new list. So um, you don't necessarily have to put this here. You could just do that, and it'll kind of be the same. But it's always good to put new list. All right, so if we go back into Unity here, you should see now we have, oops, this is actually private. I made a mistake. OK, so if we make this public and go back into Unity here, you should now see we have my list. And this looks just like an array. Um, so this is very similar to an array. But like I said earlier, it has, excuse me, has um, a lot more function. So we could do things like my myList.add. And we can add any data, like we can add an integer to this list. So let's add 50, right? So we already have uh, five elements here. So if we hit play, you should see it creates another element called 50, or that is 50. So um, we have that add method. We also have uh, some things um, like getting the count of a list and an array. So I'm going to remove this. I'm going to enable our array again so I can show you. So we're going to do over here um, debug.log and we're going to do my int array dot count oops dot length. But for a list instead of length it's count. So we're going to do debug.log my list dot count. Okay so uh, this dot count and dot length just um, tells us how many um, elements we have in our uh, in our list and or array. So over here, if we hit play, you can now see it says three. So we have um, three elements here, and over here it says five because we have five elements in our list. So those are some things you could do. Uh, we can also put this in a for loop, but we didn't learn for loops yet. Um, I could show you a for loop though. And I is equal to zero uh, five times. Let's see, ten. I plus plus. So uh, this is going to make ten elements. Uh, we'll explain loops in the next episode. So if we go back into uh, Unity here, I, I want to reset the list and the array. We're just going to be working with the list here. So if I hit play here, you should see that it creates 10 elements. Uh, so uh, th this is very useful for, again, things like an inventory and storing mass data. So those are four, uh, excuse me, those are lists and arrays. So if you enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like or comment if you have any questions. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and have a good